first broadcast of HGI News and Entertainment. Our first story of the day details the grand reopening of the cinema over on McGilvery. On Friday, November 2nd, Winnipeg will be opening its doors to the first VIP cinema. After months of renovations, the Cineplex Odeon McGilvery, formerly Cinema City, will be reopening its box office to the public with a completely new look. You know, we always felt that there was an opportunity for our VIP premium experience here. And when we had the opportunity to do the renovation on this theatre, we took the opportunity. And so today, this theatre is one of only six in the entire country to offer our VIP cinema experience. The VIP experience is exclusive to adults and features a sophisticated lounge seating centre around a bar that serves alcohol and non-alcoholic beverages, along with unique food choices. The VIP experience also features three state-of-the-art auditoriums. So you're going to walk in and see giant screens that extend wall to wall. You have a Dolby digital surround sound system, very large, luxurious leather seats with tables interspersed amongst them. And then on top of that, you can actually have your food and beverage served directly to you at your seat. The rest of the cinema has been upgraded as well. There are now eight regular theaters that are all 3D capable, the biggest of which has 308 seats, but that's not all that has changed. So we have a brand new lobby and we have an enhanced um, food service offering. We have everything from poutine and french fries and hamburgers and chicken tenders to pizza and, and then we have an expanded appetizer menu at our VIP cinemas. So a lot has changed. The Cineplex Odeon McGilvery reopens as a first run theater this Friday. It's because of the fact that Winnipegers have been so good and so supportive of us that we've been able to reinvest in the community and give something back to the community in terms of a brand new facility like this. Thanks Natasha. That theater looks fantastic. Now we'll go to Humna who will take us back to the week we spent with Ofield. The students at HGI participated in their own hip hop boot camp last month. Students from grades 5 to 9 learned their own dance routines from a hip hop dancer named Ofield. He has been dancing for his whole life. He was at HGI for one whole week as a part of the artist school program teaching the kids about dance. You know, it's just something that's been in my household. Music has always been in my household. Uh, I know a lot of kids, when they get into trouble, their parents would usually um, scold them by maybe giving them a timeout or putting them in the corner. Um, my parents would uh, put me in front of the TV and make me watch like musicals and, and videos and such. So uh, music was just always there, even when I was getting in trouble. Music was there. So uh, that just progressively led me to dance. The school's gym teacher, Ms. Torden, and Mr. Bridge invited Ophiel to our school to teach students some of his dance moves and choreograph grade level routines. I was, I was at the celebration of learning last year, and I saw some of the grade nines up there doing break dancing. And I saw your HGI Hall 3 video. And I, so I knew the school loved to dance. And I have seen him in action before, and I know he's really good at what he does. I've been in the gym a few times watching him work with the students, and the enthusiasm um, you see, you have all of the kids involved, all of the kids are having fun. And I think that that speaks for itself when you see so many people involved in the activity and everyone's smiling and enjoying themselves. You know, anytime there's a change of pace, brand new things being taught, people are excited, so absolutely. Everybody make some noise if you're happy, it's Friday! At the end of the week, he put together an amazing performance that the whole school got to enjoy. Most of the grade levels got to perform their own dance routines. Ophiel performed some of his own tricks as well. The special guest asphalt crew delighted the crowd as well. Shout out to my mom! Mom, I love you! HGI is very glad that Ophiel got to come to our school. We hope that the inspiration to dance will continue. La, 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 la. I was one in the Apple turnovers. I was doing the rollovers. It was, it was harder than you think. It's really cool to do, actually do it. You can ask me a question. Yeah. Is this too much? Is that too much? I don't know. Is this too little? Yeah. Well, there you go. You got your answer. That was ridiculous. Good job.
next story will show how HGI is saving the planet one plastic bag at a time. Over the last month, the staff and students at HGI have been collecting plastic bags as part of the Bag Up Challenge that was initiated by two students in grade 6. I started this Bag Up Challenge because I was reading the Pemina Trail School Division newspaper with my mom and there was an ad for the Bag Up Challenge, so I decided, well, maybe we should do this our school and see if we can collect enough bags because it's good for the environment and it would be fun. Bag Up Challenge is a challenge that all schools in Manitoba can participate in. Uh, schools are challenged to collect and um, count plastic bags, all kinds of plastic bags, so that they don't end up in the landfill. The growing concern for plastic bags and landfills has led to the need for change. The Bag Up Challenge is a way to bring awareness to the problem. If you've ever driven by the Brady landfill, you'll see that the fields are full of plastic bags that have blown out of the landfill. So a challenge like this really helps to keep plastic bags out of the landfill, out of our natural areas, and it helps to protect the environment. The plastic bags collected will go to good use. Well, VFI is coming to pick them up and then count them, and the top 14 schools will get a, benches, a bench made out of plastic bags and then two free birdhouses. I'm Ted, reporting live from HGI. In our final story, HGI continues the legacy of Terry Fox and his Marathon of Hope. 32 years after Terry Fox first embarked on his Marathon of Hope, the students at HGI Middle School still think it's important to support the Terry Fox Run. On September 28th, over 600 students ran or walked the two-kilometer route. I think it's important to run for Terry Fox's to show that you care about cancer research and what he did was amazing. At age 19, Terry Fox was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, a type of bone cancer. Terry Fox planned on running a marathon to raise awareness for cancer research, but after his experience in the hospital and seeing how little money was being donated to cancer research, he decided to extend the run all across Canada to raise more awareness. I think it's important because we've been doing it for a long time. I think it's a very important cause, and I think it's good to raise money and to, to appreciate what he did for us. Um, to show that we care for people that have suffered through cancer and to show the support of all that he's done for us. We love Terry Fox! This concludes our first broadcast of HGI News and Entertainment. You stay classy, HGI. And Bingo was his name. <laughs> <laughs>